Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film this video and I'm wearing all of this makeup on my face since I think uh, 12 or 11 a.m. this morning and it's right now 826. So I wanted to put these products to the test before showing them to you. So this is sort of a haul and first impressions without um, doing this demo. I'm gonna be filming another look tomorrow showing you the products in action but I wanted to talk about them and give you a first look of them with a review and these are products from Urban Decay and Laura Mercier these I received yesterday and I'm super excited to show them to you I'm gonna also show you swatches of these products and I'm gonna talk about what they said right here and my experience with them today and how I feel about them so far so if you want to see these new releases from Urban Decay and Laura Mercier, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start, before we really go into the video, don't forget to subscribe if you love project planning content. If you love a channel that is not focused on purchasing new makeup each week or just feeding your purchasing vice that you have because I've been there, trust me, then this is the channel for you. I will always show you how I love the stuff that I have. And if I get a few things on PR here and there, I will show them to you and review them for you and I will surely enjoy them. Or if not, I will pass it on to family and friends. I just wanted to start with the first product that I use on my eyes today um, is the Naked 3, the mini palette. And this is a vegan palette. I purchased the Naked 3 when it was released. I used it a ton. It was for me the second Naked palette that I used the most after the Naked 2. So now that I got the Naked 3, the mini, I remember how much I love those colors and how practical this is gonna be for my makeup artistry kit or even for traveling. Because even though when I see the shades right here, they don't usually call my name because I'm not that into mauve tones on my eyes. Every time I did a look with the Naked 3, I ended up loving the look that I had. So it's like the love palette from Natasha Denona that I don't love the palette, but I notice how much I use it. So I truly tend to use it a lot, which means that I actually love it. But when I see the color scheme, I don't think that I will love it that much. It comes with six shadows, one light, one dark. And then it comes with two shimmers and the rest of them are matte. But I think the first one, the light one, it's a little bit more on the satiny side. It's inspired by the best-selling Naked 3. And it strips down to the essentials with all six all new universally flattering rosy neutrals. It features a versatile lineup of two matte and four shimmer shades made for every day. These vegan high pigment shadows are ultra blendable and last up to 12 hours wet or dry. Started being available in June 28th and it's $29 which I think is a great price. I love how sturdy the palette is. I love the color of the palette. I love that it doesn't come with the packaging of the Naked Basics because that one was a packaging that would get sticky like the NARS blushes. But I bet that we use the metallics when they're super pigmented because Urban Decay eyeshadows are easy to work with. The Naked palettes though, even though they have a good amount of pigmentation, they are eyeshadows that allow you to be a beginner so you can build them you can play with them they're blendable and easy to work with you don't have to have knowledge of makeup beforehand and I think it's something that sometimes people here on YouTube including myself will forget that the regular consumer will go towards this type of palette we are not all youtubers we are not all makeup artists and this is one of those eyeshadow palettes that can go on the everyday back of a person that actually goes to an office job. So this is, uh, for me, a great release from Urban Decay. I prefer these type of palettes, neutral palettes and everyday palettes over colorful, crazy palettes, to be honest. 
I got sent another package from Urban Decay and this is the UD 24-7 and I was expecting because Urban Decay allows you to choose if you want to get a package from them. I was thinking that it was going to be all eyeliners and you guys know that I have a lot of eyeliners from Urban Decay. I've been finishing them throughout the years because I purchased the Vault and I regretted it from time to time because there are a lot of eyeliners there and I mostly use browns and blacks but sometimes I do like a pop of color. So today on my waterline, upper and lower, I'm wearing Psychedelic Sister and this one I actually, this is basically one that I already finished and this is a second one. And this reminds me how good they are when they're fresh because mine are super super old. They still work. A lot of them that dried out, I got rid of them. A lot of them that I didn't like the colors of them or that I wasn't using them enough, I gave to my mom. And I today I took out two colors to give to her because she loves to do a neutral eye with a pop of color in the waterline. So when I use this, Psychedelic Sister, this was so buttery and beautiful. And it makes my brown eyes pop so much that I know I will get a ton of use out of it. And then this one, which I already have in my collection, so I'm going to give one to my mom and then keep the other one. This is the shade Freak, and this is a green one, but it, it has like a metallic finish to it because Psychedelic Sister, even though it has a sheen, it's more matte than shimmer. This one has a metallic vibe to it, and it's an apple, a green apple type of shade. It's pretty, it's not one that I will wear that often, but it's really pretty and I love the consistency when it's brand new. Then they sent me one that I know I will finish, even though I prefer perversion always. I got the Zero one, which is a black, but it's not their blackest black, which is one of my favorite eyeliners. So Zero, I have finished I think two this year. And I have it right here. It's a black. It's definitely a black. It's just that perversion. It's even blacker than this one. And I have to say, one thing that I love about these is that they stay your waterline. Most of them will stay throughout the day. These I applied hours ago and they're still going strong. I love that the packaging or the, the pencil in itself, the liner, comes with the color that it's going to be. It's true to color outside. So you will always know what to expect from them. They take 24 months to expire. They're a waterproof, ultra creamy formula in an amazing range of shades and finishes. And I have to agree. They have one that's called Whiskey that I adore. They have Mushroom, which I love, which is a grayish, uh, taupey, metallic color. They have Perversion. They have also Demolition, which is a matte, the deep brown that I love a lot. They have a lot of pops of color that are amazing and they last forever because like I told you guys, I bought the Bolt and they have been going strong since forever. They also sent me an eyeshadow. I swatched it first and I wanted to show you the packaging and do a close up but this one came broken. I think it's so soft but when I saw it, I thought it was going to be super red and I wasn't going to love it. It's actually more on the rose side of the spectrum and that means that I will love it. So it's not as wine as you see here in the pan and it has speckles of purple glitter. It looks so, so beautiful and I love the new packaging of the Urban Decay shadows. This is in the shade Floor. It says right here that the 24-7 shadow has a mind-blowing range of our favorite colors and finishes. So I'm gonna do a close-up so that you guys can see the swatches and I'm gonna do a close-up of the packaging without opening it because it's broken so I have to repress it before actually showing it to you wide open. So this eyeshadow can be a one-stop shop type of eyeshadow and those are my favorites. You can apply this all over the lid then do a liner, do a dark or black eyeliner in your waterline and you'll be good to go. I love those types of shades. I'm gonna see what other colors they have. I know I'm not that into singles but now that I'm traveling if I can repress it and I know that it will be sturdy I can take it with me and just have a neutral palette and this one as a pop of color. It's just really, really pretty. And then I didn't even know this existed. These are the 24-7 shadow sticks. It says here they're ultra creamy and waterproof, glide easy, 
and they blend easy and won't budge till you say when and they come with a built-in sharpener. This is pretty nice and it comes in a shade that I also finish. I think I finished that shade, yeah. It's a shade Chaos, Chaos or Chaos, I don't know how you pronounce it but you say in Spanish Chaos. You guys know how much I love my sticks from Laura Mercier. I don't know if this compares to it. I love the shade of this one and you can see it right here. It's one of those blues. This is the blue eyeshadow for which I wanted to purchase I think the Vice 1 or 2 from Urban Decay, the eyeshadow palette. So it was just, it's a mood. I love just doing a neutral eye and then doing this in my waterline and just putting blue eyeshadow underneath it or just creating a graphic liner with it. And then that's it from Urban Decay. Thank you Urban Decay for sending me these beautiful products. I think I'm gonna love this eyeshadow palette so much and today I had, I had a doctor's appointment. Uh, when I came out of my room my husband talked about my eye makeup which me doing my makeup every day doesn't mean that he compliments it every day. So for me, when he noticed my eye makeup and he said, how pretty is your eyeshadow? Then that means a lot. I went out all day. You guys know how I live in a humid weather. And this eye makeup stay put. The eyeliner on the waterline stay put. Everything is looking really nice even after seven to eight hours of me wearing this, even I think nine hours now. The only thing that got a little bit removed was, this, was the foundation and I'm not even reviewing that but it's because I was wearing a mask. We still wear masks to go out. And then this release was super exciting for me. You guys know how I love caviar sticks. I adore them. I was waiting for this release to get to me. And it says here, Dear, Dear Jordana, Laura Mercier is excited to introduce the Rose Glow Collection. And I was actually checking this out on Sephora and they were sold out. But yesterday I was checking out the Laura Mercier website for the Light Catcher Translucent Powder, which is a highlighting product that looks so yummy and beautiful. And I checked out if they still had this and they did. They have the entire collection, so if you're interested on these ones, which I love the shades of them, I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. You can go to Laura Mercier, put your email, subscribe to the newsletter, and you will get a 15% off your first purchase. And that's always a good thing, and you can pick up a Laura Mercier translucent powder or blushes. You guys know I love them so much. This says, it's our first nude collection that brings all skin tones to life with its balancing pearl blend. The Rose Glow Collection is encompassed of six caviar stick shades and a limited edition rosy neutral highlighting powder. To celebrate, we invite you to find your light by playing with the spin wheel. So they sent me this. I'm hoping that I can just create a look with it since you guys request for looks uh, with me using the caviar sticks. Whether I play with the wheel or not, you guys know how much I love the caviar sticks and how much I use them and rose, rosy tones on my eyes, pinks on my eyes are just perfection. So I decided that I had all of these caviar sticks to compare this to them to see if I had a dupe and guys I don't have, I think I have one dupe but they're truly all different from the collection that I have. But these are not all of my caviar sticks. These are the ones that I thought would be comparable to these. These ones come in the rose gold packaging, which I think it's just so pretty. And the boxes, I threw out the, all the rest of the boxes because I know I will be keeping them all. And they all come with this beautiful rose gold packaging in the box. And the colors are Forbidden Rose, Rose Thorn, Strike a Rose, Kiss from a Rose, Wild Rose, and bed of roses and I just I find this to be just perfect I went in for my lower lash line with rose thorn which is the darkest put in my inner corner wild rose which is the lightest one I already swatched them today when I was checking them out and I'm gonna swatch them again so you guys can see this is bed of roses I have here Wild Rose and Rose Thorn, which is the lightest and the darker one, which are the ones that I'm wearing today on my uh, lower lash line and then on my inner corner. Then I have here a Strike a Rose and Kiss from a Rose. And Strike a Rose blew my mind 
because this looks like an exact dupe of the pink color from the soft glam palette which is my favorite eyeshadow that I actually already finished completely so I know I'm gonna love that and this one is so pretty more on the cool tone side and then for Beaten Rose which is the last one that one is more of a coppery shade and that's the one that I think I have a dupe for I'm actually gonna swatch um, this one which is Sienna right next to it which I think it's close but it's more on the orangey side and you will see it then next to uh, the other one I'm gonna swatch one that I thought would be a good dupe which was uh, magnetic pink but it wasn't this one was lighter but it goes with the theme so you can see those two you can see how that one is more on the orangey side and this still has a hint of pink or, or or a wine color and then magnetic pink it's way lighter than this one which is the lightest of the shades well not the lightest because the lightest is this one but it's still way more icy than the rest of them and then I wanted to swatch a raspberry next to the darker shade and it's similar but it's not the same and also magenta which are on the same color scheme but they're definitely not the same so this is raspberry and this is magenta and you can see that this is basically a magenta or a fuchsia and this is lighter than this one which is the darkest color on the rose glow collection then i also wanted to compare it to sunrise and nude rose and they're not dupes so i'm super happy for that because i don't want to have dupes with different names we we never want that so you can see here sunrise which is more on the orangey side and nude rose which was the regular collection and it's still not a dupe for any of the colors of the rose glow collection and then of course the last two are plum which i thought was gonna be a dupe for the darker shade but in a matte or more more on the matte side color and I wanted to see the shade rose gold because I thought this was the reason why the collection was inspired so I actually thought that they were gonna release rose gold in the rose glow packaging but no this is uh, more on the champagne side and then plum is way darker and it looks way more matte than the darkest shade in the rose glow collection so this is plum and this is rose gold which is a fan fave shade it's one of the best sellers from the uh, caviar stick so the new rose gold caviar stick eyeshadows these comes in six rosy neutral self adjust to your complexion and bring life and light to your makeup these are long wearing 12 hours of high impact color creamy formula a smudge blend feel and define I agree like the, the caviar sticks you guys know how much I love it I will leave linked below a video of me creating a soft glam look for nighttime with the caviar sticks the regular line but if you love roses if you love these types of shades these are just stunning and then this comes with the highlighter which I thought was so beautiful because it comes in the packaging of the blushes but with the rose gold uh, color packaging and this is this is limited edition and it's a rosy neutral highlighting powder that balances undertones for a universally flattering result i have to confess that when i open it up i wanted it but when i open it up i thought it was going to be more on the champagne side and when i applied it i noticed it was more pink but it has this expensive glow to it that is that blinding but it actually picks up the light and you can see it's been eight hours or nine hours since i used this and you can still see the glow because i'm applying my highlighter recently uh, on the apples of my cheeks just to make them pop and look um i don't know like jacqueline hill i see a lot of youtubers applying highlighter there i never do that to my clients because i always apply highlighter right here but i've been loving the glow on the apples of my cheeks so i decided to go in for that and i'm gonna actually apply a little bit more so you guys can see it because i think highlighter they do not swatch that well but when you put it on your face you notice you can see the gleam so it looks blinding when you first see it and when you swatch it it just looks 
basically like nothing and then when you swatch it and see the pink in it you find it to be like underwhelming but these apply to your cheeks like this is freshly applied and then this one has been with me eight hours and you can still see the glow it's just that this is beaming this is so so pretty I just I find this to be so beautiful and I think not talked about enough I love Laura Mercier products some people don't get them I know they like catcher people have been saying like this is not a setting powder you have to do research every time if you're a youtuber even more you have to do research because people are counting on you to review the products so when I saw the light catcher I immediately thought that's gonna be too glowy for me with an oily t-zone and clients that live in this humid weather to apply all over my face so this would be a translucent type of highlight that I can apply to the highest points of my face and it will look like a translucent glow it's not gonna be a loose highlighter per se with a coat of color or with a base of color and they made it in three shades for different skin tones but it's not gonna replace my translucent powder and some people can't do it that way because they have super dry skin and they don't mind looking glowy all over it's like people that do their face with creams and go out I can't do that so you have to just pick and choose, do your research, try it out, but don't only read translucent setting powder and think that it's for all over your face right away. You have to think about the mindset of the artist creating the products. Why can't I do the research before purchasing the light catcher and throwing it under the bus? That being said, I haven't used the light catcher, but it looks as wonderful as this. Like this is one that is in a press version, but I know that the light catcher will, will catch the light in an expensive way without enhancing texture like this one is doing. And I have to say, I'll be honest, I was pretty underwhelmed when I swatched it and when I first opened it. I thought the packaging is beautiful, but this is gonna be all packaging and you can see it's not. You guys, like this does, my camera doesn't lie. I have it in the automatic setting. I never brighten or do anything to it. This is how I look in real life, just that I have a ring light. But if I go to the sun, this is gonna beam this way. And it doesn't show any texture, and I have like a scar right here. But this is so stunning. I would highly recommend it, and since it's limited edition, and uh, I don't believe that limited edition products we shouldn't purchase because they are limited edition. If we love something and it's limited edition, this will last you years. So you will not need to repurchase in the future to enjoy something that's limited edition so so I guess that's it for this video you guys I hope you enjoyed this was something different I wanted to insert clips and just uh, demoing the products and just swatches and whatnot so that when you guys go to pick up these uh, products then you can just know what to expect from them and that's it you guys that's it I hope I can insert a clip of me using everything or if not here you have the swatches and I just will leave links below if you want to support my channel and you buy something because you love the review and you want to try it please try it and you see my links if you don't do that then that's okay you can also not do that so thank you to Urban Decay for sending me these products and thank you to Laura Mercier for always sending me these beautiful products you guys know how much I love the caviar sticks I talk about them non-stop so before you go leave an emoji today talking about anything rose related because of the rose glow collection and if you love this video and you love something that I showed you please leave a comment below it helps a lot I love you don't forget to subscribe and I guess I'll see you on the next one bye bye